Hey Bigfooters, it's me Jay Mack and welcome back to Bigfoot Input. We are here for all of your paranormal needs. Today we're going to be talking about a really controversial topic. Who exactly is this guy Todd Standing? So buckle up, it's going to be a rough one. So let's do a little bit of backstory first. Who is Todd Standing? Todd Standing is a Canadian filmmaker. He's most famous for making a documentary called Discovering Bigfoot. It was wildly popular amongst the Bigfoot community, but also raised a bunch of debate and questioned Todd's credibility. He also was on an episode of Survivor Man Bigfoot. If you haven't seen Les Stroud's series about Bigfoot, it's highly recommended. Todd has also led expeditions with the likes of Dr. Meldrum. Understand that just because Todd has been associated with both of these men does not mean that they've checked off on him. So let's talk about the lawsuit. Some time ago, Todd petitioned the court to make the Sasquatch a protected species. He offered to take a representative from the Wildlife Association out into the bush to prove their existence. As you can imagine, Todd was laughed out of court and they refused to take him up on his offer. As far as I'm concerned, this gives Todd quite a bit of credibility. I mean, he was willing to take a representative out into the bush and show them the Sasquatch. This is the only thing that will protect this species. It's the only thing that stops a redneck with a shotgun from taking a pot shot at the next Bigfoot that he comes across. Let's talk about this video. The Sasquatch scampering up the hill. This is impressive video. I'm not here to tell you that Todd has never had an encounter with a Sasquatch. And this is possibly video proof of that very encounter. What's really impressive about this video is the grade of this cliff, this hillside. Can you imagine? Go find your most athletic friend. Put them in a monkey suit and imagine them climbing up this hill at this rate. So it's very impressive, credible, and I would say plausible. Todd has made a lot of money off of this documentary. And at some point, the question arose, why have you not purchased drones? with 4k cameras you could put an end to this mystery once and for all for one reason or another he's always refused claiming that it would disturb the sasquatch in their environment and various other excuses meanwhile we have people out there that are willing to kill a Sasquatch if it gets it on a medical lab table so they can dissect it. All right, let's talk about the documentary. I'm not gonna break it down for you. If you wanna go watch it, please do. It's actually on YouTube movies right now. But I just wanna bring up some points about the video. You will see the Sasquatch scampering up the hill during that video. You'll also see a scene where Todd is filming with a night vision camera. So it's very green and you're witnessing what is allegedly the back of a very tall Sasquatch. I believe it was well over eight feet if my memory serves me right. He films the Sasquatch motionless for, you know, I, if I remember correctly, it was like 30 seconds. All of a sudden, you see the camera jostle and fall to the ground 
after what is obviously an impact. According to Todd, a Sasquatch that he didn't know was there to his side had flanked him and threw a log, knocking him unconscious and giving the Sasquatches a chance to flee. When he woke up, they were gone. All right, let's talk about the apples. Todd set a number of apples on a log and set up a camera, a night vision camera. Rarely are Sasquatches filmed on night vision cameras. And the hypothesis goes that they can see the infrared light and avoid it. But not this time. Those juicy, delicious apples were too much to resist. So you see a hairy hand come up over the log with what appears to be some fingernails and grab the apples one by one. At this point of the story, we're going to enter a guy called Philip Solo TV. At least that's his name on YouTube. A while back, he did a video where he wanted to search for Bigfoot or Sasquatch for the day. So he enlisted Todd Standing to take his little group of misfits out into the woods and look. At some point during the video, the girl in the group discovered something in Todd's truck. It was a pair of gloves. They weren't filmed, but the gloves were described as being hairy with fingernails. So Philip confronted Todd and asked him, hey, what's up with the gloves? And Todd kind of gave him a dismissive answer, saying that his brother-in-law had a weird sense of humor. Is that definitive? No. Is it interesting? Yes. All right, guys, let's get down to it. I want to talk about the photo evidence. In this documentary, you're going to see multiple photographs and some video of three different creatures. First, you're going to see Jake, this guy. Jake is the most plausible out of the three characters. Jake has typical Sasquatch features, although I've never heard of one being reported that had its entire face covered in hair. They always seem to have more of a smooth face surrounded by hair. The second one is this guy. You'll note, no cranial ridge, a very large, smooth face, surrounded by fur, beady eyes. I don't know what this is. I've never heard, I've never heard of a Sasquatch reported that looked like this. The third creature is this guy, Leatherface. What we're looking at here is a very human type of face that is just black as coal. And he seems to have a little tuft of blonde hair up top. So what Todd is going to ask you to believe is that he was able to not only clearly film a Sasquatch, that he was able to clearly film all three of these creatures. I'm reluctant to call the other two Sasquatch because, well, they're not. They don't look like Sasquatch. They, they don't fit the MO. But let's say that they're a different species, a different type, a different adaptation. Okay. So what Todd would have you believe is that he managed 
to film three different types of Sasquatch in the same area of Northern Alberta, Canada. It doesn't matter where you're from. If you're from California, you've seen mountain lions. If you're from Alaska, you've seen grizzly bears. I'm from central Florida. I've seen black bears and I've seen sand cranes. Quite a bit of them actually. But if there were five bears lined up, I couldn't tell you which one came in my yard and broke into my garbage cans last night. If there was a line of sand cranes, I couldn't tell you which one came into my yard yesterday looking for bugs. Todd will have us believe that in this small area in Northern Alberta, Canada, there are three different types of Sasquatch. Same evolution, same adaptation, same food source, same environment, same climate, but three individuals. I don't want to beat this horse to death, but I just want you to understand. At no point in your life will you walk outside and see three grizzly bears, one blue, one pink, and one with purple polka dots. But if what Todd says is true in northern Alberta, Canada, there exists an area that has at least three different adaptations of Bigfoot. Now, I wanna throw just a little bit more cold water on this subject and then I'm gonna call it an evening. I wanna talk real quick about a man named Thinker Thunker. If you've heard of Thinker Thunker, you probably know who he is. He's real respected in the Bigfoot community, by myself included. He has a background in CGI and cinematography, and he takes an original look on videos. That's very refreshing. So I urge you to go to his channel and search Todd Standing you will come across this video here. This video explores something called facial ratios. Facial ratio is the distance of space between your pupils or from your upper lip to the bottom of your nose. Those things on humans that are pretty distinguishable and are pretty much the same on all humans. So Thinker Thunker takes it upon himself to do some measurements. And what he finds is that Patty does not share the same facial ratios as we do. Gorillas do not share the same facial ratios that we do. But gorillas and Patty do share the same facial ratios. I think you get where I'm going with this. Thinker Thunker measured Jake's facial ratios. They are not the same as Patty's. They are not the same as gorillas or orangutans or chimps. Can you guess who they are the same as? Yeah, humans. 
More specifically, Todd Standing. All right, you guys. That's it for me. J-Mac out. Keep squatching.